have a really big problem because I may not like you, but I do need you to be in love with me. I, I like, I need it. I need you to be obsessed with me. And then as soon as you do, I'm like, okay, that's good enough. Thank you so much. If a guy is interested in me, he keeps, you know, hitting me up in my DM or he keeps trying to call or text me or whatever. I'm going to need at least a $500 fucking deposit for a potential wasted time. Because let's be honest, that's exactly what the hell it's going to be. No more, hey, beautiful. No more, what are you doing me to death? Drop that stack in my cash app and then we can have a conversation, sir. Why would I bring anything? I'm not bringing anything to the table. I'm not bringing a fucking thing to the table other than this fat ass, these big titties, this pretty little fight. No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. That's all you get from me. That's it. And I'm going to take your money. A hundred percent. Yes. What kind of guys, like clients do you have all shapes all sizes how much do they have to pay so my minimum is 1200 oh you expensive what? that's not really expensive there's guys <laughs> that drop back for a date for nothing oh, it's you 1200 yeah. for a date that's very expensive <laughs> that doesn't include the dinner and stuff no they pay for everything okay so if y'all go to a five-star restaurant that's gonna be another like what three four hundred and I'm they preparing. can afford it girls don't understand is there a like, gift involved or no yeah, okay. there's always gifts. Where's Somebody you? bought me a car. What if they pay and they want something else? No comment. I think it includes the full package, right? If I want to, then it happens. I don't have mm -hmm. time to stop my day to do whatever I'm doing to link you for what? A $35 meal and then you're going to think that we're having sex because I linked you? No. Yeah. I linked you to get to know you, maybe, maybe, or to see what you can offer me. If you're not uh, you said, I noticed you said a $35 meal. That sounds more like it, because she said $400 meal. <laughs> Where'd that nigga take you, to Denny's? Nah, I'm talking about like a regular-ass person. Not oh, okay, you like a regular, yeah. Hey, How you doing, beautiful? I'm okay. I'm just trying to pick my food. I just want your number real quick. Just real quick. I just want to pay for my food. Okay. Did you want to pay for it? Yeah, I'm going to get your number right quick. Boy, I know you see me paying for my own gas and okay. I'm pumping my own gas. What are you trying to talk to me? Look, though. You already paid for the gas. I got to get food. Uh, you get a cup of ice cream or something. What you want? Little daddies. I know you ain't trying to. Let me put you guys on some games so you can really understand women. See, the ones who are not into you, who don't find you sexually appealing, if you don't turn them on and get them wet, she's going to charge you a fee. Mark my words. She's going to ask things like, so what do you do for work? So where are we going this weekend? Um, I got to you know, get to know you. You got to take me on four or five days. I have this 90 day rule. All these different rules and regulations for you because she does not like you. And women will tolerate you. They will hang out with you, they'll be around you only if you're doing something for them. Now notice guys, the women in the past that you've dated or the women you're gonna date in the future, they won't charge you anything. They didn't ask you to do this for them, do that for them, do that for them. Uh, the guys who are simping and, and paying all these women this money, it, it's insane because those men don't know their value. They haven't found women who truly like them. And what's even crazier, those women that you saw are basic to below average looking women. They're not special. There are tons of women around here, guys, who would actually want to be around you, who wouldn't say, so uh, what are you doing for me? Uh, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta do all the different things. Matter of fact, the women who really like you, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna buy you things. They're gonna pay for dates. They're gonna plan trips. They're gonna say, you know what? Uh, I saw this at the store and Darius might really like this. So let me get him this. And she's gonna surprise you with things. All those females that you was listening to, trust me, and the ones you gotta listen to, that's on social media, TikTok and everything. Those women are dealing with dudes who they don't like, number one. And number two, the dudes who they really like, here's the kicker. Those dudes don't have to spend money. 
See, you gotta understand women. They like to bluff. They like to put on a show because they have to give the illusion to everybody else, including themselves, that they're more viable than they actually are. So they take simps money. They take thirsty, basic losers dudes money. Dudes who don't know their value, they just take their money and they act like, oh yeah, you know, look at me. Look, look how special, look how great I am. And they and they walk around with, with their butt uh, showing and, and, and their skin showing. Those women can't get the guys that they really want. So, they, so they're bottom feeders. <laughs> they don't have a relationship skill set. They don't know how to keep a man. They know how to attract a man. But they can't get a guy that's going to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to invest in you to do what they really want. So they find a substitute. And the substitutes are thirsty beta simps like you. See, guys, I only want you to deal with women who want to be with you, who don't charge you or say, hey, you have to pay to play. Because if you only deal with those type of women, I'm telling you, you're going to have a good experience with women. Now, there are a lot of women, a ton of women out there who just want to use men because they've been hurt before, they've been used, they've been ran through, they've been damaged. So now they're like, you know what? I have a vendetta for all men. I, I have an alpha man. So now every man I see, I'm gonna try to damage them. I'm gonna try to take money from them. I'm gonna try to break their ego and, and, and tear their spirits down. This is why you have to be mindful of the type of women that you deal with. Because a lot of them come with that mindset and energy. They'll disguise it like, hey, I'm a nice girl and everything. And, and but but you got to do this. Well, see, listen, women can never take anything from you. Okay, I want you guys to say they can't uh, take resources and, and do these different things. They have to give you an illusion like they're special. They have to walk around half naked and, and half nude and, and showing all type of skin. So then you thirst. See, a, a man who's not thirsty for women, he's grounded. He understands who he's, he is. He's not going to get trapped in. in in a woman's uh, wire, right? So if you want to be in a woman's web, what's going to happen is you're going to have to overvalue her. And this is what women love. They love to deal with dudes who uh, don't uh, get sex on a consistent basis, who can't get women. Because those dudes are like, man, I got to have some woman. Uh, I just got to have a, a chick that's around me and I'll just pay any money. I'll just do this. I'll, they just break out their wallet or their, their hard-earned money. They just say, here you go. Here you go. Now, there are women out there, too, who think that their time is more valuable than yours. Those are the women who are dangerous. Because those women, they come to the situation from a savage standpoint. And they're like, yo, if you ain't doing enough for me, you can get away from me. And here's the thing. If you can't do anything for that woman anymore, if you say, hey, uh, I don't get paid till next week. Hey, you know, I, I, I'm running low on money or, you know, I had to t had this emergency I had to take care of. So let's go out next weekend or let's go out in a couple weeks when I get paid again. She's going to get mad at you. Do you know why? If you can't give her money for her nails or a pedicure or medicure, she's going to get mad. You know why? Because she's with you for the money. This is why I tell you guys, stop taking women on dates and paying your hard earned money for them because it's not worth it. Because when you can't do it anymore, she's going to leave you. And she's going to go get her back blown out. She's going to go get pounded and pipe, uh, piped down by dudes who she really wants and the dudes who aren't doing anything. And this is where the Tyrone, Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad comes into effect. Because those dudes are the ones that women are attracted to. So if a woman doesn't find you attractive, I'm telling you, you're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's, it's almost going to be seem like, you know... Everything I'm doing is, is, is not enough. I just did this, I just did this. And she's asking for more? Yeah, she's asking for more. Because you're on her time. A woman is into you, you're, she's gonna be on your time. You guys can go for a walk in the park. You can just sit outside. You can go, you can go get an ice cream. You can go get a, a pizza and you can sit at home. You don't have to go out and take her out and do all stuff like that. Those are the women who are actually the ones who you want to actually you know, be around and hang out with. Anything other than that, and I don't care how good she looks. Listen, just just discard it. It's not even worth it. A lot of dudes want to be with these wannabe Instagram models. They want to be with these chicks who who look, you know, appealing, who got BBLs done and, and all these different cosmetic surgeries. A lot of dudes have that fantasy. But I'm telling you, you're going to pay a fee and you're going to suffer. Because you're going to be dealing with a woman who's around you who's like, oh, I don't want to kiss him. I don't want to touch him. I don't want to be around him. And when she does finally muster up the courage to have sex with you, you know how she's going to act? She's going to be like, 
kind of laying there stiff and she's not going to be into it. She's going to be like starfish sex and she's going to be looking to just get it over with. I'm just trying to end it and that's it because she doesn't like you. Only deal with women who you can hang out with and everything and that you don't have to spend all your money because your time, your money is way more valuable than hers.